Hello everyone, this is Katarina speaking and I'll bring you the 1212 Ascension Gateway information and the light language to go with it. And first of all, apologies for the long pause between videos, but as you can hear, I'm still <laughs> clearing my Ascension flu and I will speak about it, what it means. And for so many, we are going through something similar as well. Um, so my voice is deeper than normal. I've done sessions this week. I've done light language. Um, it's all working. Um, my energies are higher than usual, but my physical body is trying to catch up with these um, shifts we're all going through. So what is this 12-12 um, Ascension Gateway all about? And my guide said this year the overall theme is the abundance and the co-creation of the New Earth timeline. And the 1212, it's not only the digital codes of 1212, um, and 12 stands for beginnings and endings, the completion. Um, it's also in aligned with the number nine, the, we're coming full circle energetically um, on many levels. And that refers to um, the collapsing of all timelines. And while I've been so knocked out and wiped out by my deep cleanse, um, my guides have shown me how literally throughout all dimensions my um, past timelines are literally collapsing. And I've never seen that so clearly. I've experienced, say, shifts and alterations. I've experienced timeline convergences where lower frequencies align with higher. But what's happening now is literally the um, deconstruction, the desolation of old outdated timelines. And my guide said, Katarina, where we are going collectively and where you're going as a person, you can't take your old identity with you or the limitation or the belief systems of making yourself smaller than who you are on the soul level. And we are all invited to come into the soul embodiment. So while I was knocked out in bed, um, I've seen... Um, those timeline collapses, um, I've seen the multidimensional shifts and changes and my guide said as within so without. So at the moment the old structure in say the human collective as well as in the physical density, meaning our bodies, the body of Gaia, the body of all plants and animals around us. My cat went through a similar process and that's never happened before. Um, she's usually the one holding the fort and now we went both through a deep cleanse and we were hanging in there for sheer life. Um, and I can really see that around me as well. Um, so many people experiencing this, what I would call is an ascension flu. And what that means is your body is purging all outdated frequencies of your system. And also when you're coughing, it's le literally a deep cellular, cellular cleanse. <laughs> and um, my guides also said, and that's the first time ever they said that, that our DNA is being reassembled. And um, I had so many shamanic experiences where in a shamanic journey you can experience your own death, like you, you burn down to your bones and then the bones are broken apart and then you reassemble new. Um, I also strongly am aligned with the energy of Phoenix. So the Phoenix is the one, you know, you um, come into this one singular place, turn into ashes and then from there it's like a zero point field experience in quantum physics. Um, but this time it was literally a multidimensional phoenix experience where everything is being um, drawn into this one singular point and then being recreated from there. And I've never ever experienced it on such a level in such a vastness and multidimensionally as well. And my guide said um, the way to explain it is like we are now having a multidimensional tuning fork aligning us with really our highest monadic level um, and the highest frequencies our soul is able to um, come into alignment with. And I said, but how is this playing out? I mean, we're surely all on different stages in our personal journey. And they said um, the frequencies that are coming in now, this abundance, the co-creation of the new earth timelines will literally re uh, reach all of us. Um, and say if you're newly awakened and all of a sudden you realize, wow, life isn't what I thought it's going to be. Um, and there's so much more polarity going on. There are so many agendas that aren't for the well-being of the entire planet that are for... Um, 
yeah, reasons of wealth and control and whatever. And when you're newly awakened, you know, when you're in the beginning of the dark night of the soul and you suddenly feel estranged from those you love and you suddenly have certain opinions that other people don't share with you and you find yourself, it's like, oh my God, and what reality am I suddenly in? It's like everything is different. And if you're in that space and these energies are coming in, and I mean, it's so, so many people right now, then these frequencies will absolutely speed up the process that this initial dark night of the soul, this initial separation and estrangement and like, oh my God, where have I landed? is going to be much quicker than those of us who have been here a long time. It could have been lasted years. And they said to me, no, with this, it's such an acceleration. So it's more likely to last months. And everyone, it's also that snowballing effect. More people wake up, more people go through this. So it's a really... Um, turbulent time and they're showing me it's like a centrifuge you know we are all in it like, doo, 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 doo. and this old stuff is literally beaming out of us and um, through that centrifugal power um, if you're say in the middle of that first awakening it will help you to purge quicker it will help you to get to a higher stages of consciousness that you aren't say stuck in 4d for an extended period of time that you're naturally quicker drawn into 5d into unity into harmony and um, for those um, in 5d already it will literally have the effect of the old as being completely de um how would you say reassembled taken apart the old structure literally being shifted and changed and all of us are also receiving this on a dna level and my guide said, Katarina, it's totally logical, isn't it? And I said, how do you mean? And they said, as within, so without. And since the whole universe is going through this massive upgrade, we get those immense solar codes. And that is part of the 1212, from the 1212 till the 21st of December, that 10 day period. It's, or is it nine days? Oh God, nine days, yeah. Or, yeah, nine, oh God. When I'm in this space, you know, my normal human brain is like, can I count? No, I can't, right? Um, so this period of days from the 12th till the 21st, um, that Ascension Gateway is really where we align with the galactic center. We get far more expanded cosmic codes coming in, light codes from far out in the universe that we normally aren't able to reach as easily. And the sun, our physical sun, is really magnifying these codes. It's literally, um, yeah, it's increasing the dial on everything. It's really turning it up profoundly. And I felt that on the solar eclipse, even though I was in bed, <laughs> highly ill, um, I could feel this golden solar gateway opening and I could feel this flood of golden solar light codes coming in. It's like, Christ almighty. Um, and that is part of it. So the solar codes are magnifying whatever comes from the depths of the universe towards us. And it's magnifying. And that's why it's also very strongly around abundance. Um, and it really attacks, if you like, um, all limitations we still hold. So for me, it's self-worthiness. I've always been bullied and excluded and whatever. And my guide said, Katarina, from that template, you can't bring in those higher codes. It's really that embracing who you are and really embodying who we are at our core, no matter if it's been for a long time not well received by those around you and now the people start to awaken to their true inner light and they seek that true inner light whereas before it was like oh my god it's so light i just really don't want to go there it triggers my shadow please leave me now it's like oh my god you seem to have something that helps me to get to the other side too so that's also a huge shift for all of us light workers grid workers um stargate keepers um empaths where the tide is turning literally in our favor because now what we are bringing is actually beginning to be thought after and helpful for everyone and i mean it was always intended this way but now the collective shadow has shifted into a direction that's benevolent for all of us um, and i absolutely celebrate that and so those belief systems of who I am will not be appreciated or well received. That's something that will also shift for all of us in um, that way. And my guide's just saying, Katarina, you remind everyone of the power of love. Because the more people are embodying a loving consciousness, the more people that are in 5D, 
it's where you really see the light in the other, where you appreciate the light in the other. And you also see the other stuff, the fluff we all have. I have, everyone has, you know. And sometimes we are more fluffy and other days we are more clear and, you know, it's just human life. Um, but the more we can come from that loving place with ourselves to say, well, today's just really fluffy. I don't know what I'm clearing through, but there seems to be a lot. And other days it's like, wow, I'm crystal clear. I love everybody. I love the world. And my guides are saying that um, these frequencies also help us with opening our heart chakras far more profoundly. And our um, ability to absorb light, to receive light is increasing. And the more we release the old, the more our heart chakra expands and you can receive it more profoundly than before. Um, it also, as you can hear, um, if you go through that version of Ascension Flu, it clears your sinuses, your mental body, your um, third eye. And the third eye is really now a mechanism for higher vibrational receptivity. May that be in sound, may that be in sensation, may that be in all your clears, you know, your clear audience, your um, clear sentience, clear cognition, um, clairvoyance, um, smell, um, all the receptivity for this higher frequency for the more subtle realms are increasing and then you're clearing it. In my case, it, whenever I have a cold, it always affects my voice. <laughs> and last week it was so bad, somebody rang me and they asked if they could speak to me and they said, no, it's me on the phone. And I thought it was a man and I said, no, unfortunately, it's still me. Um, ask me a personal question that only I as Katarina can answer and you will know it's truly me. Um, so that's also clearing our self-expression, you know, that truthful, real, this is who I am. It also affects our solar plexus because our solar plexus is now receiving the higher frequency from Gaia below. It also receives the higher frequency from above. And say our physical relay station for that is really our solar plexus and the sovereignty in inner standment, inner alignment. Um, what else did I want to cover? And the um, 1212 Ascension Gateway is also really strongly aligned with Archangel Metatron and the Archangelic Kingdom. And you may feel more strained than normal. You may feel really drawn inwards. And that's all part of it, because the more you kind of disconnect for a while, the more you are drawn to explore your inner light, your own inner connection. And from that place, you know, you feel like, oh my God, all is well, on some level at least, and will pour into me. Um, and I'm somebody, I'm not easy one for rest and hydration and stuff. So I got fully knocked out and I was knocked out kicking and screaming. It's like, I've got so much to do. It's like, no, you're stripped. You Otherwise, this process can't take place on the many levels that are going to be involved. Um, just surrender and it took me days to surrender. <laughs> I'm not sure if I really managed at some point to be fully surrendered. And um, the Archangels and Archangel Metatron in particular really help us with that self-love, the compassion, um, while the adjustment of our light bodies of our higher dimensional frequencies is taking place. Um, and my guides suggested a really easy way for you to align on Monday the 1212 with these frequencies is I align myself with the 1212 Ascension frequencies and may I receive all light codes with ease and grace for myself, my community, my family, for Gaia and all living beings. Um, and you just state that throughout the day and that already dials your system and you can start with it now um, align with this. And I'm also doing um, the winter solstice activation on the 19th of December next Sunday. My guide said that's the ideal time to receive these codes. There's also a really strong full moon that magnifies everything. Um, and then it's, there's so much information about the winter solstice and they said, Katarina, do a video um, next week just on that one um, alone. And our energies are already being prepared for the 12th, 12th and the 21st of December, um, the 19th is another high spike. Um, so we will be in this wire higher dial up and turn up. And now I'm really curious how the light language is going to go with the voice as it is right now. Um, 
Oh yeah, and one quick thing my guide said in receiving these light codes now is um, I posted last week that I was poorly, unfortunately couldn't do a video and I've received so, so much love, so many extraordinary, beautiful, light-filled, love-filled um, comments and it really, really did something deep in my soul and in my heart. Um, it was profound. And while connecting last night in what I was guided to share today, my guide said, you know, that frequency of love that you felt from all those lovely comments, how about you all dial into that when receiving the light codes, imagining all of us of that loving, high, pure vibration are gathered in a room or a sacred site together, receiving those codes where you are loved, appreciated, where you can chat with each other, where nothing is awkward, where you really are fully seen as who you are, the way you are, and absolutely appreciated and received. And um, with that, it also amplifies our unity energy. So while you receive the light codes, you may want to feel the love of this beautiful community of so many light-hearted, love-filled souls around you, supporting you on your journey. Okay. Niwe ki ki shashana namasa, iwa ki ki nana masa si iya ki ki shashana namasa, si iwa ki ki nana maha si ya ki ki sa i ki ki nana namasa iwa ki ki nana masa, si iwe si si ki ya nana masa, si iwe si si ki wa na si i nana maka. Niwe ana, niwe ana, siwa na maka, siwa na maka, hiwe shi shi na sa maka, aiwe na sa, iwe ni ki ki sa sa sa, niwa mi mi shi shi kakana masa. しわかなま、しわかなま、ひわききさささなま、ひわききさささなま、しわかかなさ、しわかかなさ、いすかかいすかかしししささなま、けきやさなけきやさな、いしきしなま、ひわきしいすかなま、ささしわあききささな